Hello and greetings from Iceland, but today I'm going to show you two short time lapses, but they are from a longer video that I'm still working on, but they do however deserve to be in a separate video, especially for those of you who are deeply interested into the subject, because they are all about earthquakes. But first we have the complete Reykjanes Peninsula in front of us, or all earthquakes since January 1st this year leading up to the volcanic eruption and up to date. I do also have an older time lapse online and I'm leaving a link to that because it shows you all earthquakes in Iceland for the last 14 months. So what we see here is a lava trying to make its way up to the surface and uh, like I mentioned before, the earthquakes are not just around the volcanic eruption. They have been all around the peninsula, and it was a process that took over a year. So this is only a part of the story. Keep in mind that you can change the playback settings in the YouTube player, if it's better for you to play it faster or slower. And in this second time lapse, I am zooming in, closer to Grindavík and the eruption, but uh, what I want to mention especially is the Sundanjúka gigarúð. Sundanjúka row of craters. They are just north of Grindavík. And Grindavík is partially built on lava from them, or where I spent a lot of time last weekend. Photoshooting. And one of the biggest questions is, what will the future bring for this town? Is it at risk? So this time lapse from around the town is just a little test for fun. We know what some say, or a photo says more than a thousand words. And a time lapse says more than a thousand photos. And uh, my conclusion from this is that I have no clue about what it means. I'm not an expert. And that's why I'm showing it to you. There are lots of experts out there, even uh, sofa experts, as we call them in Iceland sometimes. But after all, we are looking at the fact that uh, this old uh, row of craters is still showing unrest and uh, Grindavík is most likely the town that is at the greatest risk if the situation will escalate into something more than we see today. And that will be one of the biggest subjects in my upcoming video that will be online around the weekend. But uh, I managed to shoot a whole lot of footage in Grindavík or all the footage that I needed in order to explain things to the best of my ability. So it's way more of information on the way. And uh, feel free to comment on the time lapse if it's telling you something more than it's telling me. But uh, I love to use this format. I saw this used when uh, Eyjafjallar Jökull erupted in 2010, and that is what uh, gave me this idea. But you can do your own time lapses. This one is made with 24 hour interval, which is pretty long. So I'm leaving a link below to the homepage where I got the time lapse from, and you can make your own even with as little as one minute interval. But I warn you, it takes time. And uh, until my next video, I'm sending you all my best from the volcanic island Iceland.